General Dwight D. Eisenhower lived quite a life in his time. He was in the United States Army as a general during World War II, and he later served as President of the United States. With that in mind, I think it's safe to say that he had his priorities in check, and lucky for us, he actually had a productivity system that helped him make the most of his limited time that he had. The system is based on two main categories, urgency and importance. Essentially, the matrix help you decide when to do what tasks by taking out the guesswork for you after you answer two simple questions. This system is simple and effective, and in today's video, I am not only going to show you how to use this system in Notion, but actually add an extra layer of detail so that you never have to figure out when to do what tasks. I hope you guys like that little cover image there, but if we look at the Eisenhower matrix. So basically how the matrix works is you can take a look at whether something is urgent or not urgent or important or not important. And then that drives it into four different buckets. So we have do immediately, schedule, delegate, and delete. Uh, it would be, you know, just discard or something, but this is a, this is a virtual version. So we're saying delete. Um, and then, so in order to get things into these different buckets, you know, we need to plan, right? So this is how it's going to look once you do some planning and that's cool and all, but how can we get these set up right in the planning view and kind of the session that can lead us to having everything figured out. So if we look at this, it's filtered so that the status is not checked off and where urgency and importance or, or importance are empty. So in this circumstance, if this is checked off, it's going to disappear right? And once both of these are filled out, it's going to disappear. So essentially, if we have something, a task that's important, and uh, it was set to urgent, so important and urgent, then it gets put into this do immediately in the Eisenhower matrix. And then after that, what you're doing here is you can take action in the proper order of operation. So it's obviously like do these things immediately. Then we look at the next step of the Eisenhower matrix, which is schedule these. And then the next step would be delegate and then finally delete. So then when looking through all of these different parts of this Eisenhower matrix, it's important to understand that it's, it's not obviously 100% figured out for you in this system. I would say that there's an extra layer that, uh, you know, I, I've been like coining the TLP method or whatever, but the TLP method is essentially time, life, bucket, and priorities. So if you look at the sorting of all of these, the time is ascending here, right? So then if you take the time and then go past that and look at the task group, which would be the life bucket, if we look at this properly, you can see how the task group is in descending order here. So obviously work would be the most important, then side hustle, then housekeeping. So for example, I set something that was urgent and important that was at, uh, that didn't have a time because time takes priority first. So we take an example work task. That would be inherently higher on the order of operations here than editing the video and cleaning my room. Now this guy though, if we gave it a time for 12 PM, even though it was a housekeeping task, this would obviously take precedent over these because it's time, like it has a time associated with it. Now, obviously, if we're in a circumstance where that time doesn't apply, it's like a doctor's appointment or something, obviously that's that's what we're looking at it. Like it's, a, it's an order of operations with some clauses in there. Um, obviously, things that uh, have a time and associated with it, you gotta do it at the time. However, if you don't have that, then that extra layer uh, doesn't really uh, come into effect in that. And that's why you, you want things like the, uh, the task group and the priority. Now, the priority system, you could add an, a priority sort of uh, label here. However, I believe that the Eisenhower matrix does a decent enough job already of having priorities figured out. Like, this is obviously like a priority one, this is a priority two, three, and four. So when looking at something like this, you can get a lot of work done just by doing a very simple uh, checklist method that kind of has a bunch of filters set up. So it's like, this is where work is important, but not urgent. This is where work is uh, urgent, but not important. And this is where work is neither uh, urgent nor important. So then you can take this and work on what you need to exactly when you have to. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're watching this in the morning, Make sure to get a nice cup of coffee in you if you like it. If you don't, and you, if you don't like caffeine, just 
uh, uh, also there's an end card. Hit my next video and, and avoid the fact that I just gave unsolicited uh, advice on drinking coffee.